dear students in this session of plant taxonomy class we are going to discuss angler and pandal system of classification here we have to discuss the salient features of the system the outline of the system merits as well as the demerits of the angler and pandal system Adolf Engler, a German botanist who served as professor of botany in University of Berlin for about 30 years and director of botanical gardens. His phylogenetic system of classification was first published as a guide to the botanical garden of Prasalu. Later on, the system expanded in a monumental work called Die Naturlichen Pflanzen Familien. With the means for the identification of the genera of whole plant kingdom. This publication continued with 23 volumes, many supplements, syllabi, and revisions from 1895 to the present day. They have classified altogether 303 flowering families in their classification system. This great work was completed in the collaboration of his associate worker Eugene Pantel. According to this system, the families were arranged in accordance to the increasing complexity of flowers, fruit and seed development. Adolf Engler and Karl Pantel proposed a system of classification in a classical work by name Di Naturlichen Flanzen Familien. The plant kingdom is divided into 13 divisions. The 13th division was called Embryophyta Siphonogamma. It was again divided into Gymnosperme and Angiosperme, which were then divided into classes and classes into orders and orders into families. The original classification was natural and based on many characters. By 1915, their system had a phylogenetic flavor with simple plants listed first and progressing to more complex plants. It is an evolutionary system proposed after the acceptance of Darwin's theory of evolution. The evolution of angiosperm is considered as polyphyletic. The gymnosperms are considered to be more primitive and hence were placed before angiosperms. Angiosperms have been divided into two classes, monocotyledons and dicotyledons. The monocotyledons precede the dicotyledons. They have classified 303 flowering families in their classification. The monocotyledons with 11 orders and 45 families and dicotyledons with 44 orders and 258 families. So this is the outline of Engler and Pantel system of classification. So the division, 13th division, Embryophyta Siphonogamma, which divided under two subdivisions, Gymnosperme and Angiosperme. Angiosperme again divided under two classes, the monocotyledone and dicotyledone. So the dicotyledone again divided into two groups, Orchiclamide and Metaclamide. The salient features of Engler and Prandtl system of classification. The class Dicotyledonae was divided into two subclasses, namely Orchiclamidae and Metaclamidae. The Polypetalae and Monoclamidae of Bentham and Hooker 
were unified under a single group called Orchiclamidae, whereas Metaclamidae include those families with sympetalous corollas. The monocard, monoclamidae of uh, Bentham and Hooker is completely abolished and uh, their families have been distributed in, in Orchiclamidae. The flowers without a perianth or those with one horal of perianth were considered to be the primitive. The flowers with two horal perianth dis distinguished into sepals and petals is considered as an advanced character. They stressed that the simple flowers that is with few or no parts were primitive. Example, Amentifere, a group with reduced flowers were considered to be the primitive one. Gamopetalous condition is considered as more advanced than the polypetalous condition and the monocotyledons are primitive and placed before dicotyledons. Indefinite number of stamens and carpels are primitive to the definite number of stamen and carpels. The most primitive plants are wind pollinated and most advanced plants are insect pollinated. The unisexual plants are more primitive with the passage of time number of sepals and petals are increased. The bisexual flowers are considered to be highly advanced when compared to the unisexual flowers. Free sepals, free petals, free stamens and carpels are the signs of primitive plants whereas the united condition is considered as an advanced character. The epigynous condition is more advanced when compared to the hypogynous condition. Apocarpe is regarded as a primitive feature and syncarpe as the advanced feature. Merits of Engler and Prandtl system. The first one is the entire plant kingdom was broadly treated with excellent illustrations and phylogenetic arrangement of many groups of plants it was made. And another one is the amalgamation of polypetalae and monoclamidae into a separate group called orchiclamidae can be justified. In this system, the gymnosperms are treated separately. Consideration and placing of orchidaceae at the end of the monocotyledonae at the same time, the monocomposite at the end of dicotyledons are justified since they are considered to be highly evolved plant groups. Junkaceae, Amaryllidaceae and Iridaceae are placed nearer to the Liliaceae which is also can be justified. Demerits of Engler and Prandtl system. Monocots have been more primitive than the dicots which does not correspond to the present day knowledge. And the second one is the Amentiferae or commonly called as the catkin bearing group that is Salicaceae, Jacklandaceae and Betulaceae have been regarded as most primitive and precede petaliferous families like Renanculaceae and Magnoliaceae. The third one is the Amentiferae or a reduced rather than a primitive group. They consider that the gymnosperms give rise to amentiferae on one hand and monocots on the other hand. The origin of angiosperms was considered as a polyphyletic. Derivation of diclamideous flowers that is perianth with the two series from monoclamideous ones that is perianth in the single series is objectionable. According to Bessie, A. petalae was derived from polypetalae through modification. Similarly, derivation of parietal placentation from axial placentation 
derivation of free center placentation from parietal placentation and derivation of bisexual flower from unisexual flowers and derivation of entomophily from anemophily all these are contrary to the present day knowledge the main features of angler and pantle system that separate it from that of bentham and hooker system the polypetalae and monoclamide of bentham and hooker are amalgamated and placed in a single group called orchiclamide the families of the flowering plants are arranged in ascending order with increasing complexity of flowers with reference to the floral envelope the monocotyledons are placed before dicotyledons the term natural order has been replaced by family the term series or cohort has been replaced by order thank you